All right, this is a fast one because it is about ready to storm on us and these clouds are so gray. Um, but this is my asparagus bed. I have never planted asparagus. I wasn't sure where I wanted it to take up space in my yard, but I used the um, trees that my husband chopped down to clear this area to make the box. And then um, I was able to use coffee grounds and ash and uh, rabbit manure to mix in and make the dirt really good. And then of course we covered it with the mulch. So we'll see if those actually come up and come up through all those layers. But if they do, then I'm happily the owner of a, you know, what does it take? Three years to get established and then they're good for 10 to 13 years. So this is a permanent fixture. And uh, one of the fun things is while I was making this, I actually had a reoccurring visitor over here. So come check this out over here. A red, red headed woodpecker was kept landing right here and working on his, uh, sapling here and there's actually a tree over there that he was working on too but it was so close and he was not bothered by me at all it was really interesting to see how it's getting at the, um, the sap but I had to be careful even walking over here because dun 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 this is the bane of my existence right here one of one of many I'm sure poison oak that's poison oak that's poison oak little spot there this girl is highly allergic to poison oak and so poison oak you have to touch the plant and get the oil on your skin in order to get it so I'm safe at the moment but we do not go anywhere without knowing exactly what it looks like and where it's at so again if you want to see oh yeah I think we're gonna have to be done it's it's really gonna pour so we're out of here and thank you goodbye Ta here's a closer look at the woodpecker tree and the poison oak. Yeeks! See the steam rising from the garden. So cool. As you'll see, some of these videos are from before my last garden tour update because it's taken me a little bit to get here. But one of my joys for gardening is actually watching something break through the ground when it's first planted. And this is my very first grown dahlia plant from a bulb that I put in the ground. I was so excited. These are the potato slips, the sweet potato slips that I planted into my asparagus bed and I will have follow-ups later to see if they survive the transition. And here's a different day in the food forest and these are the potato slips that I planted in the asparagus bed. Here's a before picture of food forest. So there's our fence line right there. Goes all the way out there. It's June of 2018. I think this will come into play a few years down the road. We burned a lot of the firewood when we were clearing here. That'll be underneath. See all of that? All of the cherry trees, wild cherry trees. They're not good cherries, they're choked cherries. And then our little fence line goes all the way down, narrow, narrow, narrow until where our cars are. So we're gonna clear to some more, thin some more just to get some sunlight in here. There's the garden over there. Looking lovely. Isn't that pretty? So the idea is to be able to see the progress. And uh, we haven't even gotten the bark chips in here all the way yet. Just starting. And, uh, so we'll see how it goes. So pretty. Got another load of bark chips and we're so excited. They smell so good and they kind of look cool too. Check it out. Some spread on the ground already. But the idea is to slowly cover in that whole little area back there. That's our food forest all the way over to the fence over here. So it doesn't, it's not too super huge, but it'll be really fun to slowly get some stuff planted. I got some uh, strawberries that I planted from strawberry seeds. I actually got local Oregon berries that are really good flavor. They're smaller than a California berry, but they have way more flavor. And so when they were on locally at my fruit stand, I, I took a couple from the batch that I purchased and I peeled the skin and dried it on a 
paper towel in the windowsill and I flaked off the seeds and I just planted them today. So I'll get a picture of those and then we'll see if I can grow them. But that's the idea is to have more Oregon berries type uh, strawberries grown right here in the food forest. Yay! These are the first baby deer I've seen this year. And my daughter graduated from high school. And these are the Oregon berries I was telling you about. This is our first fishing trip of the year. And all these flowers are from my own garden. And of course the clematis, so pretty. Rhodes, everything is blooming so good. Um, my daughter took this picture of me when I was spying the bird, and there's my girls! The delphinium is looking so lovely. And here's my whole crew hanging out around cheesecake and a campfire. And then of course this little speedy racer. They're just so cool. They don't seem to be in the same family as a slug to me, you know? A slug, they may eat as much of my plants as a slug does, but just something cool about an animal that carries their house around with them all day long. Thank you for stopping by and keep those likes and comments coming. It's pretty great.